Hello, I am Dr. Galliano and welcome to Linux Foundations. I'm going to cover three things with you. Course of study, competencies and learning resources, uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about the exam. So before we get there, let's do the obligatory uh, who am I? Uh, and so there's a little bit about me on the screen there. Uh, so I am a part-timer at WGU. Uh, that means I am an industry full-time professional. I work in a security operations center, and I use Linux every day in my job role. Uh, however, getting to this point, I've done quite a few different things. You can see on the screen there. Uh, I hold a bunch of certifications. Most recently, I achieved the uh, eLearn uh, penetration tester. I'll probably go for the MITRE uh, Threat Hunter next, and then someday maybe the OSCP. Uh, and uh, I am uh, probably most proud of right now my involvement with Try Hack Me, where I am a top one percenter. So let's shift gears and go over to the uh, course of study now. When you land on this course of study, what you're going to see here is you're going to see information about me, your instructor. Uh, and then you can go to the course announcements. I encourage you to read those. You can go to the course tips, and there's a, a link there to go to uh, my pre-recorded cohorts, which are very in-depth, and then my command shorts videos, where I show you how to use the various commands you need to know for the exam. You can conduct a course search. I'm going to go back to the other one now, and you can access the course chatter, where you can ask just generalized questions. You can see the competencies over here on the left-hand side, including planning, Fundamentals, Advanced Commands, Command Line Basics, Security and File Permissions. Generally, these line up right with the exam domain uh, as, as uh, on the LPI exam. And then in the center, you see this learning uh, widget. Uh, you can go directly to the course material by clicking Course Material. I'll come back to that in a minute. You can also do a direct sign up for our cohorts. Right now on Monday evenings, we're doing a deep dive on various topics. And then on Tuesday evenings, a exam readiness session. Uh, and then the last thing I want to show you here and focus on is the assessment section. Now, when you have not yet uh, requested a voucher in the course, you're going to see this request approval button here in yellow. Once you have done that, though, uh, it's going to shift on you, and you are going to see, uh, so that one's different, uh, you're going to see a schedule now. So uh, notice how that went from request to schedule. That means that the assessment services has provisioned a voucher code to you in your student email. Uh, and then uh, once uh, you've gotten to the point where you've scheduled a Pearson view, the yellow button will go away and you'll see submitted for scheduling here. All right. So keep an eye on those three things. Now, if we were to click on go to course material, we would come to this landing page. Now, this is where the actual WGU content is, and it's split into two sections, essentially. The first is a welcome. Now, there's not a lot there. You get, kind of get a welcome message, and then uh, you get some information you can click on for uh, learning resources. Uh, and then in Section 2, you get the actual content. So I want to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go to 211. Uh, and uh, in each one, it's going to be broken down to do this reading, watch this video, uh, and then you get some uh, some minor questions that you can answer there. Now, if you click through the reading, it's going to take you to this uh, Cybex study guide. It's a wonderful study guide. I recommend you use it as a reference. Just don't try to read it cover to cover. That's going to be a tough thing to do, okay? But it is an excellent reference material. If you click through on the watch portion of it, you're going to be taken to these Sean Power videos, uh, and you'll be able to excuse me, click through here and watch uh, videos on that content. Now, what I'm actually recommending is that you use Sean Power's updated videos on YouTube uh, for the 010160 exam Linux Essentials. These were updated by Sean in just February of 2022. 
The videos that we're currently linked to in the course of study are quite a bit older than that. All right, uh, and then the last thing I want to show you is the course summary and labs. So the labs are uh, one of the last things you'll encounter in the course. Uh, when they load in, you'll get a link that you can click on, and that link will take you to um, the actual labs that once you get in there will look something like this. Uh, and what you get is a full uh, Linux, uh, Oracle Linux virtual machine uh, that is there for your use. All right. Uh, so I definitely make use of that. Now, the instructions uh, load into this panel on the right side. Uh, and as you kind of work your way through this, uh, it'll uh, have you do various things by working in the command line. This is actually pretty good because you get to practice the commands and you can always just experiment on your own, even if you don't actually walk through these instructions step by step. Uh, there's probably something like about maybe three or four hours worth of work here if you go through each of these panels uh, until you get through, I think it's a lab six here. Uh, well, let's, I think it actually goes through uh, labs, lab five or lab six here. So you see there's sections. So I'm just clicking here. It's quite a bit here, right? So uh, yeah, maybe it's just end of lab five. Yeah, so the end of lab five. Um, we'll get you through all, all labs and all five exam domains. So that's available for your use. And then the other thing is I often get asked about assessments. There is no pre-assessment for this course. All right. Um, and there is no post-assessment. So uh, what I recommend you do is you go to wgu.udemy.com. You should be able to see that in my... Uh, uh, URL bar there and then simply come up to this big search bar. Now you want to make sure that you you see the WGU logo. If you don't see that logo, you're probably on the commercial site and that's not going to be good because you'll have to pay for things. So just type in the two keywords, uh, Linux Essentials, hit enter, and the number one and number two hits should be the Jason Dion courses. So number one hit will be the complete course with two exams. The number two hit will be only six practice exams. So I recommend you enroll in both of those courses. Uh, if you prefer watching uh, Jason Dion, I know many of my students are familiar with his content from CompTIA exams they prep for. By all means, feel free to do that. You're not bound to do the content on the WGU site. So if this works better for you, do it, but definitely take advantage of the practice exams. You'll get two plus six, eight exams, 40 questions. So a pool of 320 questions total. Those are the best practice questions that are out there in my opinion. All right. Um, now you've probably gathered by this point that the LPI Linux Essentials is a third party exam by the Linux Professional Institute. Um, and so uh, it is not proctored by WGU. Uh, all WGU does is provide you the voucher code. All right. Uh, and so then to just kind of wrap things up a little bit about the exam itself, 40 questions, you get 60 minutes. About 60% of the questions will be multiple choice, single select. 35% will be multiple choice, multiple select. The remaining 5% will be fill in the blank. There are no performance-based questions. There are no terminals. You don't get man pages or anything like that. It's all knowledge-based. Be cautious of the multiple choice, multiple select questions because those are all or nothing. You must get them 100% correct or LPI scores your question as a zero. And then I'll close by stating that, make no mistake, this is a technical exam. It's not like the typical CompTIA exam. You will be required to recognize commands and options and state what those do. Sometimes you'll have to look at the output of a command. Sometimes you'll have to give the command. Uh, and I strongly encourage you, please do not attempt the exam before you've met with me one-on-one -on -one for an exam writing a session, or at least 
attended one of the weekly group study sessions, okay? And then finally, when you're finished with that exam, please do not change answers. Now I'm available whenever you need me. Give me a call, text me uh, using SMS, uh, whatever makes you comfortable. I'm here to help you get through this course, just like I have gotten over 760 other students through the exam. So once again, I want to welcome you to the course. Thank you and have a wonderful day.